and welcome back to my car. I'm going shopping today, which I have not done in a very long time. I just kind of felt like I needed to get out and do something out of the house. We really haven't been going places and I only feel comfortable going places where I feel like I can stay distant from people still. So I'm looking for fall decorations though. I'm very excited. I feel like I look super pale right now, but what's new? I found a great little plaza here that has a Big Lots, a Marshalls, a Burlington Coat Factory, and also apparently a Steinmart that has a store closing. So if they all don't seem too crazy busy, I can leave my car parked in one spot and visit all of these, which is fabulous for someone who doesn't like driving, but also wants to find some pumpkin-y things. I do live in Tampa and there is a mask mandate here. So that's one of the reasons I feel comfortable going out. And as long as I can stay away from people, I'll feel all right. This is a mask my mom sent me from Old Navy. I have not tried this one yet. I, I honestly like the pleated ones. I feel like I'm wearing a big diaper on my face or something. Um, but I like the color of this one, so I'll let you know how this one is. It's very, like, lightweight. Okay, so now let's go. <laughs> have a round table. I don't know what size the thing is that it needs, but this is precious. Except for I have enough trouble keeping my red one clean. I can't imagine trying to keep a white one clean. But it looks like it even has embroidery on the top. And then it has these precious soft pumpkins on it. Oh my goodness. I also found these. Thankful, grateful, and stuffed. And there's two, and it's only six dollars, and they feel pretty nice. Um, they also have these. I love what this says, never stop making wishes, and it has the like, turkey wishbone. These are so darling, oh my goodness. They're $3.50 a piece, but after season, if there's any left, I might get some on clearance. They're so darling, they remind me of stuff in Budapest. How cute are these pillows? This is so nice. It says it's made in Mexico and it's like heavy, very heavy. I think it's $20. And then this is 16 though, these trees. I kind of want one like that, but they have them for $5 at Target. But this, I think is precious, precious, and it's $12. It's a good size too. Wow, okay, so I spent way more time in Big Lots than I uh, intended to, but there was so much Halloween stuff and so much just fall stuff. And I was 135 that's a weird number percent worth going in there um i only intended to just get like some pretzels and see what they had maybe get a little bit of stuff but i got so much stuff and i only spent 45 dollars but one of the employees was super sweet he saw i was struggling with my arms full of stuff so he went and got me a cart which was very necessary so my only buy what you can carry method did not work this time um but i think that's a good thing because i would have bought that other stuff still probably just other places for so much more so to Marshalls. my mask off um i think i'm just going to combine today and tomorrow's endeavors into one video because i'm tired and i need food and i've been gone for so much longer than i thought i would be like i think it's been two hours um i didn't get anything at oh michael's marshall's there's even a michael's did i already say that earlier i don't know anyways um thankfully these are all in one thing so i think i might go in some other stores tomorrow but that's all I can do for today. So I will see you guys tomorrow for thrift shopping, 
potentially Michael's, Dollar Tree. There's all kinds of stores in this little thing. I want a fall mug still. That's something I'm looking for is a fall mug. And then I was hoping to get like a nicer like fall hand towel, a softer one. All of theirs were the like just kitchen thin material. And I didn't really love their Halloween mugs. So still on the lookout for that. But I got enough good stuff at Big Lots. I really hope the stuff I bought at Big Lots has not melted. Um, at least my car was in the shade and it's not as hot as it is sometimes. This morning I was like, ooh, it's feeling like fallout. And um, I looked at my phone and it said it was 86, feels like 96. So that's fall in Tampa for you. So I will see you guys tomorrow, bye. So, yeah, I'm at Starbucks um, with Aaron. I got a pumpkin cream cold brew. I made these cookies the other day and froze the dough and then I made the rest of it last night and they're really good. I'll link the recipe down below. They're kind of doughy when you get them out of the oven, but then the next day they're still soft. Um, so they are cooked through all the way, but they just stay soft instead of being like soft when you get them out of the oven and then really crunchy. I think I need to clean my lip. Sorry. Anyways, here's Aaron. <laughs> Time to eat. We're going to go to a place called Sunset Sunshine Thrift Store. One more time. <laughs> Sunshine Thrift Store. Sunshine. It's like crazy packed at the parking lot, so we're not sure if we're going to be in there very long. If not, we will go um, elsewhere. But <laughs> this is the first stop, the goal of the first stop. Look, I could be Lizzo for Halloween. It's so tiny. Alrighty, so we are back home now. We just had some lunch and then Aaron had to go to work. I'm going to show you what I got yesterday and then what I got today. We only ended up going to the thrift store. I've only been in there once before and I wasn't super impressed, but I hadn't looked at the clothes and the clothes were really good prices. So I only ended up actually buying clothing today, but I feel really good about what I bought at Big Lots yesterday. I didn't end up buying anything at Marshall's either. Um, I think I said yesterday, I do still want a Halloween or fall mug, preferably fall so I could just use it all fall, not just Halloween time. But I got a lot of cute Halloween decorations yesterday and I don't want to spend too much more money. <laughs> I spent $45 at Big Lots and then I spent I think 12 today on um, three pieces of clothes. So really cheap, like I said. Let me show you what I got from Big Lots. So to start, I got this two pack of towels. How cute is that? This was $6, but this Let's Party pumpkin line, they had a ton. That's why I spent so much time in Big Lots yesterday. They had so many different lines of Halloween and fall merch. I just was overwhelmed and in the best way possible, but this one was 20% off. So this was actually $4.80 for two hand towels. Um, and they're super cute, so I like that a lot. These pretzels, which is what I went into the store for. These were $2.50 and I only know about these because last year I did, it wasn't a brand deal exactly, but a thing through Influencer where they reached out to some of us and um, compensated us for going into Big Lots and showing off some of their back to school items. But a lot of stuff was out of stock actually, so I ended up getting some fall stuff too. Um, Cause when you're back to school, you know, you want some fall stuff too, not just school stuff. But anyways, I got these last year as part of that and they're amazing. They're so delicious. They're just like the yogurt flavor covered pretzel things, but these are so tasty. I don't know if you can tell they have like orange and brown stripes. You can get these the rest of the year that don't have orange and brown stripes, but with the orange and brown stripes, it's really just, you know, fall stuff. And I got these pumpkin spice flavored pyro pyrolines, I think they're pronounced. My mom likes these. And so I was like, well, when she comes to visit, we will open these then. And they can be kind of a early part of her birthday gift. <laughs> so these are pumpkin spice flavored. The chocolate ones are really good. I don't know about pumpkin spice, but I figured it was worth a shot. My dad, <laughs> his birthday is in November also, and he likes um, moon pies and they had pumpkin spice moon pies. These are not like their only gift, but I figured we would have a little taste test of pumpkin spice moon pies and pumpkin spice pyrolines when they come to visit in October. Growing up in Kentucky, I'm guessing because it's part of the Bible Belt Halloween, like we celebrated it and we definitely went and trick-or-treated. Um, but I know that there's people I grew up with who weren't allowed to celebrate Halloween. So it wasn't that big of a thing. Like people didn't decorate that much for Halloween specifically. But then when I moved here, it was kind of culture shock, but also in the best way possible because everyone decorates for Halloween like crazy. Like there's just so many decorations and skeletons. I think because of Gasparilla also, people have a lot of skeleton stuff already so they can kind of play double duty there. 
um, use it in October and also in February. It's only the beginning of September right now, but one of my neighbors actually already has their decorations out and I'm so excited. So I think it's uh, time for me to put some out too. People actually had like Halloween lights. And I know Kate was like, you didn't have Halloween lights growing up. So I didn't know this was a thing. I'm really excited. I love putting up Christmas lights. So I got some, um, I got the LED ones because I figured they'd last longer. It was $12 for 23 feet like of lighted length. So I'm so excited to put these up. Now this, I was super excited about. I feel like this would cost so much more if you went somewhere else. It's so heavy. How beautiful is this though? It's a um, pumpkin patch scented candle, hand poured. It was $7. So I initially picked up, I may have shown a glass jar that had pretty like shiny pumpkins um, on the outside as a decoration. And it probably has more burn time to it. But this was just like, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like actual ceramic. Um, and it's so beautiful. I know when I take the lid off to burn it, it's only gonna look like this but it's a nice big candle and it just smells so good um and then i figured once it's burned out it's just like a pretty little pumpkin decoration it'll just look like a trinket dish or something so this was a great purchase i think for seven dollars i love this little guy so i think i showed there was one that had five pumpkins they only had two of those and they both had like some little flaws i'm very particular this one's also not perfect like he's like they're not cracks exactly but where the paint didn't go all the way in and then his black hat it's not perfect on there but he's so cute and he's a little whatever that material is that makes that noise um he's actually got some marks on the back but you look at this side anyways but he lights up too how cute is that i love it i have a mickey pumpkin votive that looks kind of like this but with mickey ears that i got at disney uh, a year or two ago i guess my parents got it last year for me so i thought they would look super cute up together this also was part of the thing that was um 20% off. So this was $2.50 originally. It was only $2. And it's a spider web. So what I do is I use the Mickey votive as like a centerpiece. So that's what I'm going to do. It'll look like that on the table. And I just think that's so cute. And then when it's not spooky season and it's um, November, this was the, what I'm calling my Thanksgiving uh, merchandise purchase was this will be the centerpiece bottom. It says thankful. And it's a really pretty orange color also. Very, um, I don't know, burnt orange kind of. I think it's really gorgeous. So that's everything I got at Big Lots. And that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine items. If you count the fact that there's two towels, it was 10 items, um, all for $45 because everything was just such a good price. Um, so I'm very happy with that. The most expensive thing was the lights, of course. So without that, it would have been even cheaper per item. I mean, it, you know what I mean. I think I'm not gonna go back out shopping specifically for anything. I might look online at some stores and see if there's any um, Halloween or fall mugs that I want to order. But I feel like I've spent as much money as I really want to spend because I know in the future years I'm going to want to go decoration shopping as well. So this way I can just get a little bit each year. I don't have to get it all this year. I do have some other fall hand towels. So it's really just the mug that I'm looking for and I have plenty of mugs and I also want to look when I go to Disney. I wonder if they have something mug wise that I'd like and I can look at Target too. Cause there was some stuff I wanted from Target, but I'm not like set on it. So anyhow, let me show you what I got at the thrift shop today. I don't usually go for animal print things, um, but this was $3.95 and I thought this was so lightweight. I can just chuck this in a bag and next time I go to Animal Kingdom, just pull it on over my clothes for a photo. It's this cute dress that has all these animal prints on it. And I thought, how cute would that be at the photo in front of the Tree of Life? I honestly, like it's pretty, big i think it's supposed to be like a swimsuit cover-up or something probably um it's charlotte ruse oh no it's not <laughs> it's just a 2x that's <laughs> that's what it is they have it marked as a medium this is a 2x it's got a elastic band around the waist so it fits okay and it's just kind of like big and flowy then from the back i feel like even if i just had a t-shirt on under it i could throw this over whatever i was wearing and get a photo from the back and it would be very cute so that was only four dollars this i think i might actually wear as a clothing item as one would this is uh 345 only it's got a kind of pattern to it and it's velvety and it's just a very simple black dress but it looked really cute on i slowed it on over my clothes in front of a mirror and i was like "Ooh, that looks cute with clothes on under it it'll look cute without clothes on under it too and then i thought i might wear some like over the knee boots with it i'll show you guys if i ever wear this which i hopefully will this fall it will be cool enough hopefully at least one day to wear a short sleeve velvet dress um, but I have some over the knee black boots and I was like, those are like a little gap of skin then. I think that'll be so cute. I know a lot of people dress up as 
Lady and the Tramp for Halloween, a lot of couples do. So I think maybe that's what we'll do for a little casual Halloween. We're not doing anything big. There's not anything to do. I don't even think trick-or-treating will probably happen this year. And if it does, I'll just put candy out on the porch. Um, and we won't really be part of that. But if we dress up for a photo or anything, I got this cute brown tutu at the thrift shop. It's like a regular skirt, but it like has the tool over it. Um, and this was originally marked at 7.45, but today all of the orange and yellow tags were half off. So this was only like $4, less, less than $4 for this skirt. And honestly, it's very me. Like I just love girly stuff. And so even though it's brown and I feel like it's kind of weird, I think with fall coming, I'll be able to find ways to wear it just as my clothing. So that's everything I got in my little fall shop with me over the past two days. Um, like I said, I might shop some here and there, but I think this video is uh, long enough already and you can see everything that I had from last year already too if you want to watch my upcoming uh, fall decorate with me. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Make sure to smash the like button and leave me a comment letting me know maybe what your favorite thing is or what your favorite decoration piece that you own is. Give me some inspiration to spend more money. Why not? Thank you guys. Happy fall-ish. Happy almost fall. <laughs> Bye. Bye.